Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World YouTube channel. I hope everybody is having a wonderful day and if not, you better be manifesting, planning and preparing for a better one because it's surely coming to you all. Uh, if you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Different. I am an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. And so, if this is your first time, welcome to my YouTube channel. Definitely, before you leave, hit the subscribe button and that notification so when you get some new I drop content, you guys can uh, check it out. And so, um, for those that are uh, been checking out my YouTube channel, welcome back. As you guys have been following, you would know that today is November the 1st, 2022. So, it's our social awareness vlog that I'm dropping today. But before I go any further, um, I normally start off my greetings with, I hope you guys are feeling well like me. But um, today I'm feeling a little gloomy. You know, it's raining outside in Houston today. It's a very sad day uh, in, in hip hop and in the rap industry. Uh, we're mourning the loss of Takeoff, uh, one of the members of Migos. Uh, he died here in my city, in my, my state, Texas and Houston. Uh, from what I've read, <clears throat> the story is still developing, you guys. So uh, just don't, like I said, I'm, I'm not a news reporter. I'm just, uh, you know, I mean, you in my world. I'm just reporting what's going on and what I woke up, woke up to and heard. Um, and so, from what I've heard, they were at a Houston bowling alley, bowling alley at a private party, and uh, Quavo was playing, uh, shooting the dice game. And uh, man, take it's just it's sad all around. Man, takeoff was in the background. He had nothing to do with it. He just he stood up. It was just at the wrong place at the wrong time and ended up losing his life behind it. And so my thoughts and prayers are, you know, with the Migos uh, members, Quavo and Offset. I know they're not, you know, vibing right now, but they still family and I know they both hurt. And so my heart goes out to them, you know, as well as it's just, it's just it sucks all around for everybody. I, I actually like takeoff he was one of my favorites in in the group because you know he was so quiet he was just about his business never caused any trouble everybody liked him and you know it's just sad that it had to happen to him and you know it had nothing to do with it but he ended up paying the ultimate price um so rest in peace to take off my thoughts and prayers all with you and your family and everybody that's mourning your loss you know forever being in our hearts that you have you guys have changed the rap game and I, I love listening to the Migos and it just it sucks man but that's just how life goes and so um <clears throat> rest in peace to take off and um we're gonna keep you in our thoughts and prayers with this vlog and so with that being said you guys moving on like i said this today is tuesday uh, so we're dropping our social awareness content this one is going to be in regards to voting it's november and so uh, our election is started with early voting so i want to title this get up get out and go vote and so for those out there from the youngins to you know uh, the, the, the the mature audience and then you know those who, who don't even vote with the first time voting everybody out there you know who plans on it and who doesn't do it i encourage you guys to get up get out and go and vote and, you know uh early election that starts i think it already started here in texas i think it started october 21st excuse me 24th and it ends uh november the 4th i was actually supposed to go vote today but it's like i said it's raining right now and so i may have to go do it tomorrow we'll see uh but for that, in any case, it <laughs> leaves me time here uh, to check in with you guys and talk and encourage you guys uh, with the power of voting and why it's important and why it's important to vote and why I go vote. Even though uh, for those who have that attitude that voting, you know, brings no change or it's not going to, you know, get the person that they want in the office or, you know, it's always something up against them that, you know, stops them from voting, i.e. voter suppression. Um, you know, no matter what the situation is, uh, always know that and remember this, you know, if your vote, your voice and your vote didn't matter, then they would not try so hard to stop you. Okay, so that is why it's important to vote um, and, and to get out and get heard. And like I said, with those that have that attitude, that negative attitude that, you know, change doesn't, you know, it's not going to create any change. Well, wonder why it doesn't if you don't show up to the poll. You know, it's strength in numbers. And one thing I've learned with working uh, for the Census Bureau is that, you know, at the time when people started to complain collectively about, you know, the change that they wanted and started to come together, then, you know, over time, that is where their systemic change started to happen. Change was, you know, created for them. And so 
it, and it happens, you know, with voting, whether if you believe it or not, you know, when we wanted a black man in the White House, we did that. When we wanted to get number 45 up out of the White House, they, we did that. You know, I did that too. I manifested his ass about it in my book. I, I do it all the time. Where is that? Here it is right here. <laughs> and so I, I manifested him out of uh, out of the White House one time. And so that's just when we want to get things done and when it comes to voting, we make it happen. And so don't ever think that your voice or your vote doesn't count or it doesn't matter. It does. And so, again, I encourage you guys to get up, get out, and go and vote while you can and, and why, you, why you should. For me, I guess the top three reasons why I do, I vote, is because for one, you know, my ancestors, my people, black people, you know, back in the day, they didn't have that right to vote. They had to fight and scrape, you know, having dogs sick on them, being sprayed with water hose and, you know, being met with, you know, nasty mobs at the voting line. They went through all that for me. And so I'm not gonna let what they went through go to waste, you know, and just sit there and let it, while, while, you know, <laughs> I had that chance to keep going with they started. And so that's one of the main reasons why I go out and vote. Number two is I believe in for those who, who I don't, I'm this type of person. I'm not going to complain about a problem without presenting a solution or being or trying to be a part of the solution. So don't complain about the problem if you're not going to be a part of the solution. So in order, instead of, you know, yeah, you have the right to voice your opinion, complain about what you don't like, but go get up and go get out and do something about it. And one of the ways you can do it is go in the vote. So that's the number two reason why I go out and vote. Uh, number three is because I want to lead by example. And, you know, I have my nephew that's watching me, you know, when I have kids, I want to be able to show them, you know, uh, me putting the contribution into society, what I'm leaving behind for them, I want them to follow in my footsteps and see why it's important to, you know, get up and go and vote and have your voice being heard because that was a once upon a time women were not able to voice their opinions. And so I march for those women who were not able to go up and have their voices heard as well. So it is, it's more than just about my people, black people not being able to go to vote. Women were not able to vote once upon a time as well. And so those three reasons alone, that's why I exercise my right to vote, you know? And so I hope you guys out there that's listening and watching find some reason to spark you guys your interest to you know get up and go out and go vote and so as well as like I said when it comes to you know motivating people you can't just hear that from one one person you have to hear it from others as well as hear it third eye and then difference for us I don't just want to you know educate you guys and inspire and motivate you guys I want to entertain y'all so with that being said I want to share y'all this video I found on YouTube from my with my girl Jennifer Lewis man she's wow I love her so much um she wrote this little uh song a while back uh called get up and get your ass out and vote and so check it out and when we come back I'll talk a little bit more about the power of voting and why y'all should get up and go go do that thing and so here it is check it out all right would y'all shut the fuck up <laughs> and I want you to sing this song wherever you go to anybody you see. I don't care who you are or where you work. Get your ass out and vote. This ain't the election to sit home and lurk. Get your ass out and vote. Get your Get your ass out and vote. All right, shut the All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope y'all enjoyed listening or watching that uh, crazy clip by uh, We Act Radio. Be sure to uh, check out their YouTube channel. Uh, my girl Jennifer Lewis was said the best. Get your ass out and go vote. Uh, in my opinion, if you don't exercise your right to vote, then you exercise your right to shut the fuck up, okay? Don't complain about a problem and you're not trying to be about a solution. And so uh, for those out there that can and they got the power and, and for those that can't, you know, get up and do it for them. Go out and vote and have your voice being heard. 
even if you don't get the results that you want, at least you got up and tried, man. Nothing beats a failure but a try. For me, I can't live with that what if factor. So I have to do it just on that them, them points alone, man. I can't live with the what if factor. So I'm going to get up there and try and, and get the person that I want who I think is better fit for that position in that office. So, uh, and, and if it doesn't, you know, go the way that I plan, then it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. Life's going to go on. You'll be all right. Just keep pushing, keep striving for it for what you want and what you believe in, and that change will come. You will get there. And so uh, with that being said, you guys, if you like this message that I'm bringing to you guys, what I have to say about you no know, voting, uh, make sure you comment, you like, you share, and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I truly appreciate all the love and support that I am getting, as well as not just from my YouTube channel. You guys can check me out on my website at differenceworld.net. It has all my other social media handles, including my Facebook, Instagram, and my Twitter, as well as you guys can book me for any type of motivational speaking events or grassroots conversations you'd like for me to be a part of. I'm free of as of now, <laughs> but get it in while you can. As well, you guys, don't forget, do not forget the main point. You can go to my website and get our first product that we have to offer. My book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, it should be popping up right here <laughs> by now. Uh, yes, uh, as you guys know, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift is a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations, so be it by that's intended for a mature audience and so if you can't take this type of heat then don't bother coming to the kitchen but if so head on over to differenceworld.net and get your copy you guys definitely um what else we got on the agenda moving on let's see um real quick uh, oh uh, just appeared on the uh, front page of the african-american news issue here in houston so big shout out to my girl Chesley for the interview, uh, debuted it. Uh, let me see if I pop it up right there so you guys can see it. Uh, I'm very proud of myself. I know my mom is up there proud of me as well. Uh, so be sure you guys, I'm gonna drop that link in the uh, description so check it out as well. Uh, tomorrow we have our podcast Wednesday, so I will be dropping our interview I did with a KTTV a while back, and so uh, dope uh, young man here in uh, Texas as well, and so I'm excited about that. You guys be on the lookout. That's coming tomorrow, and what else we got? Lastly on the agenda, oh, mental health check time. Let's do that, you guys. That's the most important before, uh, well not before anything else, but one of the most important things we do here and Difference World and Third IMT is advocate for mental health wellness. And so, again, with that being said, anybody out there going through any type of mental anguish, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but never sit there and not be okay. Go get help. Go get whatever it is that you need to do to free yourself from that mental bondage and keep yourself from not going off the deep end, as well as prayerfully not taking nobody with you. You do it. For those that may need it, if you're going through any type of mental anguish, be it depression, suicidal thoughts, anxiety, you know, being bullied, whatever. If you know somebody that is, please share these mental health resources with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255. If you need to or, t or want to text, you can text 988 or 741 or those that prefer, go online to mentalhealthishealth.us or you can go to 988lifeline.org. For those that are outside of the U.S., you can go to incounseling.com. And again, remember, it is okay to not be okay, but do not sit there and not be okay, you guys. Go get help, okay? And with that being said, moving on and moving out, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, definitely hit that subscribe button, you guys. I appreciate all the love and support. Continue to share my content. I appreciate it. And keep coming back to Difference World and coming to learn about your girl. And remember, whatever it is in life that you believe that you are destined for, you got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And it will surely come to you all. Difference World, come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? 
What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A Controversial Paradigm Shift by Author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.